Welcome to my first tutorial. I will show you today how you can make an inventory system, but not with moving the items, but by duplicating the items. So we start by adding a canvas to our scene. Uh, on this canvas, we create a panel and we drag this down uh, a little bit. Uh, below here, there will be 10 or 20, how much you want, um, buttons. So later on, we can press them. Uh, 50, 50. And on the panel, we create a grid layout group. Um, and we say the item size is 50, 50 and they need to center it from the middle center and now when we add um, more buttons they will nicely align from within the center uh, four buttons for now uh, that's fine and now we will create an other panel uh, that will hold all the inventory items uh, resizing it a bit and also here we gonna uh, add some buttons um, duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Um, and also here on the panel we gonna oh, add a grid layout group, uh, layout group and also here 50 50 i'm gonna set the spacing a little bit so it looks a bit better and 20 from all sides you can all, uh, change everything you want uh, in here the next step is to is to create a script um, that we assign to all the buttons uh, which holds uh, some information about the button so let's create a C-sharp script, item info, double click it, um, this is not necessary, uh, public int item id, for example, public string name, public int sprite id, for example. My name, that's good. Uh, then we go to the um, Unity screen again. We're gonna select all the buttons that we have. Um, and we're gonna assign uh, item info to them. Uh, the other thing we need to do is to uh, add a canvas group. That's for yeah, blocking and uh, enabling the raycast. Uh, so that's done also. Okay, then the first, uh, the second script uh, will be called drag and drop. And we need to import some things you uh, unity engine.ue and using Three functions needs to be there. Uh, start and update we don't need. <coughs> first one is um, and I first we need some um, 
item declarations public and game objects item being dragged static public and item info and info <coughs> I'm sorry about that um, then on to the on drag item being dragged uh, transform position is event data dot position that's that um, then we go to the uh, on begin drag a little bit more a game object uh, called duplicate is instantiate of the game object of from itself uh, item being dragged is duplicate um, then we need a rec transform um, because I had some problems with the size of the item that's dragged when you uh, instantiate uh, object and game objects not get components and let's transform yeah then we need another one we call it just RT is item being dragged dot gets components Red transform close it rt dot size delta is new vector 2 at rt dot uh, size x okay, copy this replace it with an i and we are done for that and then we need to get components uh, canvas group get canvas group uh, dot uh, what was it Block regress is false. Then info. Oh, no. Is gets components. Item info. So we have also that. Um, then we need a normal transform. Canvas is game objects dot find game objects with tag and I called it new canvas uh, game object it needs to be. <coughs> and then item being dragged dot transform dot set parent is the canvas we just assigned and then one more gets components canvas group Block is, is false. And then one last thing. Um, after the dragging has completed, we're gonna uh, canvas group. 
And block rate as is false. Okay, when we go back to Unity, uh, we can assign the new script to the um, inventory buttons. So we will select them all and also here add them to it. <coughs> I'm sorry, a little cough. Um, <coughs> I will cut it out. Okay, uh, that's that, and I think when we run it for the first time, it's not doing a thing. Oh yeah, um, we need to do some. On the main canvas, we need to add a tag. Uh, I called it UE canvas, I think. Canvas. Let's try it out. We can drag it, but it's not working as expected. Okay, that's working. Uh, now we gonna create a script uh, that handles the information for the. Um, uh, when we release the mouse on the quick bar, um, drop info item, and let's have a look. Um, we need both of those. I drop handler, I think. Yes. The function. So we are gonna have an item info. Uh, my info is game objects dot get components. Item info. That's the first. Uh, then we need another one. And that's the drop info. It's the, the item we uh, are dragging. Drag and drop. Uh, item being dragged. Bent get components. Item info. Now we gotta create the sprite slash image um, switch. Drag and drop item being dragged dot get components image and game objects dot get components image Off. And there the sprite of is drop sprites dot sprites. Yeah, finally. And then my info dot item ID is It's later on to um, load the sprites in a different way. Uh, and don't forget to destroy the, 
game object we duplicate it um, and then set this to nothing so when we go back to unity and insert some images First one, just some random things. Um, oh, and we need to assign the scripts we just created. To the buttons down, and I help to drag and drop. Yeah, that's looking nice. But for now, when we move it over here, it's not working as it should be. Uh, we need to go to the drag and drop script. Copy those two lines from the drop scripts and insert it here. Let's have a look how it's working now. That's fine. Hmm. Okay, that's good. And we need to, uh, in the drag and drop scripts, we turn this to false, and it was supposed to be true. Let's have a look. Yeah, much better. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed it, uh, and please leave a like. Thank you.